Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to look at this. So this is M is for Music by Kathleen Cole and illustrated by Stacy Ernest. So this is an ABC book, which I love. I'm a huge fan of the different ABC books. I love the way it teaches vocabulary, especially to little ones. Um, and this is kind of a cool book to do it. The illustrations are very much um, interesting. So I'm going to go through this book. A is for anthem and accordion, which is, and there's a whole bunch of, the other thing you'll see um, is there are a bunch of other words throughout the pages. You have like Louis Armstrong and A, I'm not going to do that back then. So you have B is for Beatles. C is for CDs full of carols, Cajun, country, and western. D is for dancing, drumming, all around your house. E is for Elvis, energy, and encore. F is for finger snapping and folk song. G is just for guitar. It's kind of cool. I love the, uh, again, the illustrations. But the other cool thing is in the very back here is it has a full list of Musical notes A to Z. So it talks about the words on the page and gives you a little bit more information on them. So it's very interesting and very, very informative. Again, I am a absolutely early huge fan of um, ABC books because it's a good way to teach vocabulary in a fun way. And this has some cool illustrations and teaching different words. I love music. Um, as I get older, I seem to love more classical music, oddly enough. Uh, so, but this is a great way to teach kids. Um, I tried to learn the violin as a child. It's not a very good idea. We are covering, uh, on to the point, I am covering a bunch of music books uh, this month. I covered, I think I have most of the children's picture books. And I'm doing musicals. So I'm doing video musicals this month as well. Um, some of the old classics. And no, I have not watched them yet. So this is this is being filmed in November. I haven't gotten to watching the musical classics yet. But this is fun. I love the illustrations. It's a great way to introduce some music vocabulary and some music history to the young kids. Age range, this will go from early elementary, from the littles to probably even late elementary. Um, I know a lot of parents are kind of shy away from ABC books. But the illustrations are really cool and there's a lot of different words in here and so it would definitely work for even the little late early elementary maybe not necessarily just reading but going over the illustrations and some of the vocabulary and some of the history of the music so this definitely has a wide range of usage if you're covering music history if you're just trying to find different words and build up vocabulary or just just looking for a fun ABC book to do. It's one of those days and it's just it's something fun to read. It has some great illustrations talking about music in general and how it makes you feel and react and the different instruments and stuff. So this is a great book for that. I really enjoyed it but again I'm this crazy huge fan of ABC books which is something I did when I did story times at the public library. I was big on the baby. <laughs> I was big on the ABC books because I like building up books. Uh, building up the vocabulary. I love different words. Um, though I'm dyslexic and I cannot spell to save my life. <laughs> I love words. I cannot spell at all. <laughs> really at all. My spelling is horrible. Which is the reason rather than doing a blog, I do a YouTube video. Do, do a YouTube channel because then I can talk to you and not type things out. Uh, which would be bad. It is annoying. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just not any good at it. And it's better to talk. So fantastic book. If you like what you see, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. I do have a couple uh, early on early videos on ABCs. I do a cover on ABC of pasta book, which is a favorite of mine, something I actually did when I did story times. This is a new um, thing. I do some of these. I do a lot of children's picture books. I do uh, a lot of book series. This year I'm covering Princess Diaries, The Guardians of Gahol, some Tamora Pierce in here. Um, so, and we're adding, I'm adding some more Meg Cabot and possibly, and Catherine Alaska, which is the Princess Diaries and the Guardian of Gunhul, uh, Gunhul authors. So the, that's what I'm covering this, this year. Um, I'll cover some other nonfiction stuff, 
middle grade stuff, all sorts of stuff, as well as films. I mean, I'm covering the musicals. I've covered some family films. I cover various different media related to history and things, depending on my theme or themes for that particular month. So check out what I've got. I do have some travel stuff, some homeschooling stuff, and some other stuff that pops up in various other places. So again, I have a wide variety of stuff, but mostly media and book reviews. So I will add stuff as things go on. My child is three now in November of 2022. By the time you guys see this, she'll be close to four. So, mm -hmm. sorry, it's eight o'clock at night. I have a three-year-old. So, <laughs> um, like and subscribe, leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.